Hello, Aidan Cushnan, Derry Link Ireland Advisor here, giving a brief summary of how Stephen and Hazel Wallace have been managing both grass surpluses and deficits on their farm this year. Stephen and Hazel manage a herd of around 200 cows near Seaford County Down, and currently those cows are averaging around 28 litres per cow per day from a concentrated input of around 4.8 kilos per cow which translates into a milk produced from forage figure of around 17 litres per cow per day. Stephen measures grass on a weekly basis on the farm and at the start of May I noticed that a surplus of grass was beginning to build up on the farm. In the next slide Stephen takes up the story to describe this in a bit more detail. This is what the milkers are in here at the moment here. Uh, strong enough grass here. Forty-four, forty-six hundred strong. I am. We're cleaning it out. The cows are cleaning it out. Okay. Um, yeah, probably paying the price in the milk on it. But yeah, that's what we're. The grass measurements that Stephen records are entered into a software package to generate a wedge, a copy of which you can see here on the left-hand side of the slide. Each field is represented by a green bar and the daily demand for the farm is represented by the blue line which goes across the wedge. The field that's being described in the video clip is shown on the far left hand side of the wedge and as you can see is significantly above the demand line for the farm. Indeed there are additional number of fields that are also above the demand line which has created a surplus of grass on the farm at the time which if left unchecked would have resulted in a reduction in grass quality and milk yield in subsequent grazings on the farm. Stephen decided to address this issue by taking some of those fields out and including them in grass being harvested for fusk silage and in doing so reduce the surplus of grass on the farm. On the next slide you can see some of the uh, grass which was being harvested for fusk silage from those pots. 5th of May this here is a field here mode it was for grazing and it has been uh, set aside there. There's a grazing platform, got ahead, so. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's maybe stopped, has it? Um, anyway, turning her out. Crops are, are light, but it's so the 25th of March, so we're just getting on with it. Hopefully, the next time. They're light, but they're not bad. Time to go. And get it in. Now you can see a clip here of some of that grass being lifted uh, uh, as part of the crop for first cut silage. And it's a practice that has been repeated on other dairy link farms where excess grass has been included and grass being cut for first cut. Or indeed, some paddocks have just been taken out and baled as big bale silage. The current slide uh, shows a uh, the wedge which was created after removing the surplus of grass for silage. The bar on the left hand side remains the same as before because cows were actually grazing that paddock at the time but the removal of the remaining surplus means that existing fields now on the farm more closely to match the demand line on the wedge and this in turn has helped to maintain grass quality and milk yield on the farm throughout the month of May. Now Stephen has continued to measure grass on the farm and has noticed in the last few days towards the end of the month that growth rates have declined from around 73 kilograms of dry matter per hectare per day to around 50 kilograms of dry matter per hectare per day. And this in turn has changed the wedge uh, to identify a potential deficit beginning to build up on the farm, which if left unchecked uh, would allow to a shortage of grass to be created on the farm. Stephen has decided to address this issue by offering uh, some silage as a buffer feed uh, where cows will be offered around three kilograms of dry matter per, uh, per cow at around milking time. Uh, Stephen arrived at this figure by looking at the demand line and adjusting it to match the, the existing supplies of grass in the farm. Here you can see the line has been adjusted to, uh, and in doing so has allowed them to estimate the amount of buffer feed to be offered. And this process will be continued until growth rates uh, start to pick up again. Stephen has also decided uh, on the circumstances to try and measure grass on a twice weekly basis to 
continue to monitor growth rates to see uh, when they do start to pick up that bit more quickly. So to summarize, it's important to measure grass on the farm in order to identify potential grass surpluses that may exist or indeed deficits that may also occur on the farm. Once those surpluses or deficits are identified, it's also important to take action to address them as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching and please check out the other Dairy Link Ireland presentations on Caffrey TV.